The lush world of Final Fantasy XIV has arrived on PlayStation 5. With upgraded graphics, super fast load times, haptic feedback, 3D audio and 4K resolution, thanks to the recent Death Unto Dawn patch and the launch of the PS5 Open Beta. Plus, with a super generous free trial that takes you all the way up to level 60 and through the incredible Heaven's Ward story expansion, now is the perfect time to become a warrior of light and start your adventures in Eorzea. To help you get started, we've got 12 essential tips for new and returning players on PS5. Number 1. Choose your server wisely. When you first create a character, you'll be presented with a list of servers to join in order to start playing. It doesn't matter too much which one you pick, but if you want to level up faster, pick a preferred server if you can. They're the ones with the little stars next to them and will give you a double EXP bonus until you reach level 70. Don't worry if your friends are playing on a different server, you can still visit other servers from any main city and even form cross-server chat groups or link shells, so you'll always be in touch no matter where you're playing. Number 2. Follow the main quest markers When you first walk into a new town, seeing a gaggle of NPCs with quest markers floating above their heads can feel a little… oh my word but you don't need to complete all of them to progress. Just look out for the blue quest markers surrounded by a flame icon, like this one here, to focus on the main story. It's also worth looking out for blue exclamation marks with little plus signs beside them. These are side quests that unlock extras like optional dungeons, emotes and jobs. You can safely ignore anything with a yellow marker if you're just looking to reach the end game faster. I mean, what am I talking about? You're going to clean up the side quests, aren't you? You're an RPG player, but you know, the advice is there. Number 3. Attune to Aetherites and Ethernet Shards Navigating the enormous world of Final Fantasy XIV and the three major cities of Limsa-Laminsa, Uldar and Gridania can be overwhelming at first, but attuning to all of the Ethernet Shards will make things way easier. Just approach every glowing blue crystal you can find for a handy fast travel system, which of course is now even faster on PS5 thanks to the lightning quick load times. Ethernet shards are these smaller crystals that let you zip around the various guild halls and shops within any given city, while the larger etherites offer fast travel all over the world between any crystal you've previously found and attuned to. And look how fast it is on PS5! absolute game changer. Number 4. Change your class If you're not getting on with the class you picked when you first started the game, do not worry. You can always pick another one and you don't even need a new character to do it. Switching classes is quick and easy once you've reached level 10 in your starting class. All you have to do then is find the guild for the new class you'd like to try out. Here's me sidelining my gladiator duties and taking up fishing. Then to switch between any classes you've unlocked, simply switch your weapon. You'll even get a little EXP bonus for any class with a level below your current highest, so catching up is quick and easy. Number 5. Upgrade your class Speaking of levelling up, it's worth heading back to guilds every five levels to get a new story quest and some level appropriate gear. Once you hit level 30, you'll start a quest chain to upgrade your class to one of the more famous Final Fantasy jobs. So, lancers will turn into dragoons, archers into bards, gladiators into paladins and so on. Upgrading your class naturally makes you stronger and grants access to more and better skills, so don't slack off those guild quests. You can also unlock some fully upgraded jobs like Samurai and Red Mage later in the game, and even more will be added later this year when the huge Endwalker expansion arrives, so there's loads to try out. Number 6. Visit the Hall of the Novice If you're new to MMOs or want to learn more about your role, you'll want to pay a visit to the Hall of the Novice after you reach level 15, because this is the place where you'll learn how to fight in PvE multiplayer raids. 
Final Fantasy XIV uses standard tank, DPS and healer roles to make up a party, and your class determines which role you play. Gladiators and marauders, for instance, are tanks, whose job it is to protect the other party members by pulling and holding the attention of enemies. Conjurer is a healing role that casts spells to heal other party members, although Arcanist can also turn into a healer class after reaching level 30, while Lancer, Archer, Pugilist, Arcanist and Thaumaturge classes assume the DPS, or damage dealing role, and are responsible for, you guessed it, beating down any enemies that get in your way. To access the Hall of the Novice then, you can find a smith in each major city or near the entrance to some of the early dungeons. Inside, you'll be taught how to lead a party as a tank, how to prioritise healing if you're a healer, or how to make the most of your attacks as a damage dealer. This is worth doing as you'll be rewarded with a lovely set of gear and a ring that grants you a 30% EXP boost up to level 30 that you can equip across all classes. Number 7. Get Buffed If you want to level up faster, there are a few other experience point buffs you can get to help speed things up. Eating food bought from vendors or crafted by yourself grants you a 3% boost for 30 minutes. That might not seem like much, but every little helps, so make sure you always have something to munch on in your bag. You can also earn a rested EXP bonus by logging off within a sanctuary at the end of your play session. Sanctuaries can be inns, in main cities or settlements out in the wild, and you'll know you've found one when you see this crescent moon shape to the right of your EXP bar. Then when you log back in next time, hello EXP boost. So a good night's sleep and a hearty meal are good for you in game as well as in real life. Number 8. Join a free company It's always better to play together, and while Final Fantasy XIV will automatically find you a party when you queue for a dungeon, it helps to have people to chat with even when you're just, you know, chilling out working on your hunting log. The quickest way to make friends in Eorzea is by joining a free company, basically the Final Fantasy equivalent of a guild. Not only will you have more people to talk to, free companies also offer buffs to their members and the option option of pooled item storage. The best way to find one is to hang out in Limsa Laminsa, the bright sunny city on the water, as that's where the majority of players socialise and recruit new members. You can let everyone know you're looking to join a free company in the chat window, but you'll probably get an invite even if you don't. Just run around and look friendly, that's our advice. Number 9. Customise your HUD being an MMO, Final Fantasy XIV likes to present you with lots of information, and you can customise how it's laid out using your DualSense wireless controller. You can even turn the controller into a virtual mouse by holding L1 and clicking R3, then using the right stick as a cursor and L2 and R2 as left and right clicks. Alternatively, you can customise individual HUD elements from within the main menu. You can also tap the touchpad to quickly cycle between on-screen elements, so whatever you need is never more than a couple of button presses away. Oh, and bonus tip, holding L1 and then pressing the touchpad toggles the HUD on and off, giving you an easy way to drink in the glorious vistas of Eorzea without any screen clutter. Number 10. Take amazing screenshots If you want to show off how pretty the game looks on your PS5, then try using the in-game G-Pose camera, which gives you access to all sorts of lighting, blur and filter options to really make your screenshots pop. You can add stickers and frames to make them stand out even more. To access the camera, you can either type G-Pose into the chat bar or find it under the Actions and Traits menu under Extras. Use square to bring up all of your camera options and the share button to take a shot when you're ready. When you're finished your selfie session, you can close the camera with the circle button. Number 11. Customise your hotbars With so many skills and options available, you'd be forgiven for wondering 
how the heck am I going to keep on top of all of this? But thanks to Final Fantasy XIV's fully customizable system of hotbars, you can set everything up to never be more than a button press away. You can have up to eight hotbars in total and cycle between them using R1, or hold R1 and use the corresponding face button to go directly to whichever hotbar you fancy. Then, within the hotbars themselves, you can assign up to 16 actions, easily accessible by holding down either L2 or R2 and pressing the corresponding button on your DualSense wireless controller. And you can assign pretty much whatever you like. Personally, I have a hotbar dedicated to combat moves, a hotbar that lets me effortlessly switch between my classes, and, very important, a hotbar filled with all my favourite emotes. Because if you can't dance at a moment's notice, what's the point of even playing an MMO anyway? Number 12. Set your limit break. Just like other Final Fantasy games, you can also use limit breaks, which are super powerful moves you can use when you're playing in a group with other people and that change depending on your role. Tanks get a cool defensive buff, healers get a big heal or full party revival, and damage dealers get a range of strong attacks. Limit breaks aren't enabled by default, so make sure you set them in the Actions and Traits menu, where you'll find it under the General tab. And there you have it, 12 tips to help you get started on your Final Fantasy XIV adventure. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Click the like button if you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments if you have any tips of your own you'd like to share, and subscribe if you haven't already for loads more videos on everything PlayStation.